Hi ladies, it's Penny. I'm just come to show you how I've done um, some of my pretty little butterflies. Uh, I've done on mainly perspex. There's one or two that are different, but they're nearly all on um, thin. Where's it going? Where's that one going? I've not here. Yeah. Like a thin um, perspex, isn't it? It's called perspex, and it is very thin. This one. But I didn't want them bulky, you know what I mean? I wanted them to be as light as possible. So, that's um, that's them there. Uh, I don't know if I can come up a little bit closer to show you. Uh, I don't want it to fade out. I think it's about as close as I can get. Um, like you're going all out of focus. I'll hold one or two up. They take a time, but I think they're worth it and they're quite relaxing to do. So I got a pattern of um, the size butterfly. By that I just mean something from the pound shop, you know, a, a plastic butterfly or card stickers or something like that. Any size that you want your butterfly to be. I lay it on, you can, well I should have done originally was, um, so as not to spoil that was just make a template on a piece of cardboard which I've now done. So I've done that and then you lay it on the perspex and I drew around it with pearly accent. Yeah, yeah, pearly. Pearly dimensional. That one's a buttercup. Which is what I used on that. And um <clears throat> I did try it with glue. This was on some material one. You see, it's only on like a very fine netting, that one. Um, but it's not my favourite. And, you know, you've got to sprinkle all your glue and it doesn't always go in exactly where you want it. So, for the outer line, I found I was better with that. For the inner, uh, the base, I used an assortment of different things. Some of them, I just used stickles. Uh, you know, at the back, so it was more of a, um, a clear see-through design on that one. Then I've just added um, sticky back pearls and diamantes and what have you to it. And I made, from jewellery wire, a couple of these um, the antennas, wherever they are. And then on the back I've just stuck a little from, you know, kiddies foam just at the back there. And this one I put on, give him a nice fluffy tail from eyelash wool. So that's that one. Um, the most intricate, I suppose, is from something like this one. Uh, I hope you can see it. Okay. Uh, now this one's done with very, very fine. Very, very fine. I don't know if you can see in there. Yeah. So there's all different shapes in there. So I've used them and um, you definitely need tweezers. You definitely need a pickup stick and if you're like me you also need a good lamp. Wherever it's gone, I'll just show it you. I will, I will, I will. Put that up there, pen. Oh, there's my lamp, see? And <laughs> now you're going all twisted now, haven't you, you silly woman. Right, let's get back. Here I love looks like. So you definitely need that. Now I started off with this glue, which is very good. And I got it in, I poured it, this is the name of it. Uh, Kalal, it was recommended by Amanda of Scrimping Mama. And... Um, it's very, very good glue and it's brilliant for pouring into these little bottles, um, you know, with a with a smaller nozzle on it. But some of them, I this one and this one, as you can see, the stones are very, very, very small. I can't, I can't see them about my magnifying glass, really. So... I sent away a bit ago and I got this which is called 
GS Hypo Cement and it's for use on jewellery and in any intricate work, um, acrylic, watches and won't damage anything that you're using. Now this one, as you can see, if I, look at that. And you see that? Look at how it's just... So you can see that's like... Um, oh, I can't put it back on now. Can I have done that for you, ladies? Uh, I always have to use the magnifying glass when I'm doing it. But that will give you a very, very fine nozzle. I only ordered a small one, but I think I'll be going for a small I haven't put it back on because I can't see it. So I'll have to put it there and put it on after. What else do you need? Some of them, I've used the trusty old nail varnish. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Um, on the backing, I'm just looking for one. This one's got nail varnish on. It actually has a green nail varnish on. And then some tiny little balls. All these little ornaments I've been getting from Pound Shop. You know, and they're like... Um, sticking on your nails to enhance your nails and that so for these small work that very cheap and very ideal so if you like doing small work I do um, you know that it's an inexpensive way of buying little gems and everything so that's that one just chucked it over there so nail varnish what else did I use? On some of them I've used Perfect Pearls as a background. It's just something, um, I'm trying to think, that was got nail varnish, I can tell. Um, that was, I'm not sure. But it's, oh, 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 come on, find one. Mm. No, I'm sure I did like a, a purpley one. Could have been that one. But as I say, on some of them, I've put, um, I've just mixed up a little bit, you know, of water, like, you know how to use it. It's just that it's powder, but it's, um, make a little paste. And, um, and that worked good as well as a, just to layer it up at the back. Okay. So that was one idea. Um, there's just some more pearls. As I say, these are minute as well. I think these are one... Uh, one millimeter, mil, 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 mil. So you can see, you can see how small and tiny they are. Um, <clears throat> but oh, a good magnifying mirror, a good picker upper. In fact, I've sent for another one because it's quite good these pencil ones, but um. They'd, once they get a little tiny bit of glue or anything on them, uh, then you're picking up too many and God knows what into house. And they, they do break off. But the other good thing about the pencil, though, is you can make it smaller so that when you're working under your light and you're magnifying, you know what I mean? You haven't got this big, long picker-upper sticking up and nudging the light type of thing. So that's a good thing for one of those. The other thing is I find very handy is one of these. A, a sticky doodle. Um, because with glitter, as you know, you pick up all sorts, don't you? And have it you know, everywhere. I will testify to that. So these are cheap from the pound shop. In fact, I've got this and I think two more rolls as well. And every time you just rip it off and... You know what I mean? So that keeps your work surface a little bit free of glitter. One of the glitters I've been using as well, um, i keep them all in here, is, um, again, it's a lovely fine glitter. Whoops. Lovely fine glitter. And it's actually for your nails again. But uh, for little small objects like these, I can never find the one I've been working on, can I? Could be something like that, that that's got like iridescent. And then down the centre, of course, I've just put majority I've got um just some uh, gems, you know, 
uh, <coughs> your gems in the middle like that. This one I've had in the drawer for ages. It's actually a cardboard one. And uh, it's just been lying around. It keeps getting moved. So I thought oh, I must decorate that one. So I did. So that's my cardboard one. And I've used that as a shape for a couple of them. As you can see, that blue one and that one, see? That's the same with that one. And one of them, I decided to go steampunky. And so I filled it with cogs and, and things like that. And uh, so that's a little bit steampunk. Now I just put little gems in between the, you know, within the, uh, within the cogs and what have you. So that's nice. And... Uh, so they make a nice little addition for your um, store of uh, embellishments. Um, so I thank you for watching. Uh, the other thing I've been doing as well, I think I've just got time to show you. I'm on my die cuts, I thought I'd have a go at doing it on die cuts as well. Can you see that, ladies? So this is, um, what is it? a peacock. So it's a die cut. So I've stuck it on perspex again and then it was just white so I've just brushed over it with um, some nail varnish actually some green glittery nail varnish so that's given that that base and then I've just I've not done everywhere all in the gems but I've just done a few and some of the very very tiny ones oops sorry ladies some of the very tiny ones on the crown and the eye and um, as well as a herb, it, I think it's the males isn't it, that have this beautiful plumage, it should be the ladies and then for a change I just put feathers for the body and some little gems just up the middle of the feathers so that's another another way of doing gems and nail varnish and, and what have you uh, again, that's a, mm, I will show it you. This is a butterfly. Uh, again, that's just a, a die cut. And um, I don't, it was, um, I've left the, wood, the, the die cut antennas on this, but you could cut them off and put uh, metal ones on if you wanted. So that's that one. And lastly, I'll show you. Whoops, another little birdie I've been doing. That's another die cut. Um, I'd be better holding him with that, wouldn't I? Another die cut. Ooh, put him in focus. And um, I've just added tiny feathers to him just for a bit of fun. And um, <clears throat> he'll go somewhere. And so then I need an embellishment with a bird with feathers, will it? <laughs> So that's all I've got to show you today, ladies. Thank you so much for watching and um, I'll be with you again soon. Bye for now.